everyone. This is Nikki Rowland and today I have a layout to share for Simple Stories. I am using the fabulously amazing True Colors collection. OMG, have you seen it? It's just the most gorgeous collection ever. It's all pink and pretty and wonderful and I just adore it. Um, so um, I think it's my favorite collection for a while. It's just fabulous. Um, so I was completely drawn to this paper. It kind of reminds me of be being pixelated, you know, with all the different colors on and the small squares. I just thought it was awesome. So I decided to feature a large portion of that at the top of my layout and go for a kind of torn design. I used to do that a lot um, and have tried to shy away from doing it a bit more recently because I felt like every layout I made was the same. Um, but um, I don't this I haven't done it for a while so um, it was um, nice to do so um, so yes yeah, really easy for me really really easy design um, torn torn across down there um, I do want to add another um, color underneath there so I've gone for this um, yellow uh, hearts or oh, this yellow paper with hearts little white hearts on it um, and it didn't tear very well as you can see so I had to um, kind of re-tear in a few places and um, ruffle up the edges a bit distress some extra bits and uh, yeah so anyway those two layers are going to go at the top there and my photo which I've just mounted onto a piece of black paper um, is going to go um, just there. Um, photo is of me and my little girl, not so little these days, at nearly 13. Um, and um, yeah, it just it was a funny photo. She always pulls these silly faces whenever we do pictures. Um, she always pouts and does her fingers uh, like that. So um, there's me doing the same thing with her um, and which she thought was absolutely hilarious. Um, so um, great little photo and um, yeah, I'm just trying to build up a cluster for that to go um, onto. Um, I pulled out one of the big bits, which is a clipboard and my photo sits nicely onto the clipboard. It has the flowers in the bottom right corner. I'm actually gonna cut around those flowers and then poke my photo um, into the flowers behind it so that they sit on top of the photo just on that corner. Um, I wanted to um, bring some bright pink um, inking into this layout and I wanted to extend, effectively extend the cluster that I'm going to create on the left um, down towards the bottom of the layout um, and um, I've done that with a Distress Oxide in bright pink. Um, it's called Picked Raspberry. Who knew? For years I've been calling it Pickled Raspberry. Goodness knows why. Uh, <laughs> I should be able to read by now in my 40s, but uh, clearly I can't. Um, right, so <laughs> picked raspberry. Um, here is the clipboard. I'm just carefully cutting round those flowers with a craft knife. Sorry for the view at the top of my head there. Um, I had to get right over the top of it to um, do the cutting accurately. Um, and I just use a, I actually use a surgical um, kind of craft, uh, no, it's not a craft knife, a surgical blade, um, because I found that the expensive craft knives just didn't seem to work very well, even though you can snap bits off and they can, in theory, they're sharper the further down you go. I was like, they just never seem to work for me. And then um, I had to get these um, for a different reason. And I was like, these are brilliant. I'm just gonna use these. And they cost like, hardly anything for like a pack of 20. Um, so <laughs> so from forevermore, I think I will always use one of those surgical blades uh, at, for craft knife requirements. Um, I'm generally um, not, I don't, generally don't use craft knives because, um, I tend to cut myself whenever I use them. Um, so um, I uh, try to use scissors at all, at all times, but there are some occasions where a craft knife is the only tool for the job, um, and uh, this was one of those times. So I just carefully cut around those flowers. You could see how I managed to poke my corner, my photo corner into um, into those flowers and therefore I look like I've now got a bunch of flowers sitting on top of that clipboard and our photo so that looks really really lovely um, I've also got the one two three pieces of film strip ephemera there um, I've just cut out a couple of tags from that fabulous tags paper it's always one of my favorite ones I reach for it all the time sometimes I cut up um, all the tags in one go and then continuously pick them out um, whenever I'm making layouts with this collection um, other times um, I just leave them as a full sheet and then I cut out the ones that I think would work. Um, so I've just done that this time, just cut out a couple that I really fancied. I've gone for a black one to contrast all the bright colors um, and a pink one to go underneath it to give it a bit of um, a bit of an extra layer or a shadow. Um, and then I've added a big um, gingham black bow just with some ribbon that I had from my stash. So I've just tied that, um, I've actually tied the bow separately and glued it on um, because I feel that way that it will sit better. 
Um, and now I'm trying to create a little cluster down at the bottom um, right corner. So I've just picked out um, one of the uh, squares from the paper that has all the squares on it. Um, I've also, so I've cut one of those out. I've cut out um, some frames from that frames paper. Um, and I'm gonna add another tag here as well to bring in that same bright color. Um, one of the tags has got um, that top paper um, as the top tab. So I'm gonna use that as well. Just distressing the edges of all of those um, bits and pieces there. Um, and I'm also gonna tie that, that um, that tag at the bottom there through with some uh, ribbon. This time I'm going to punch a hole um, and then put the um, ribbon through it and staple it. I find this is a great way of keeping uh, ribbons not bulky. Uh, that's probably a better way of phrasing that. Um, but um, if I tie a knot like I have done with the ribbon at the top there, um, it gives me a big bulky, uh, big bulky knobble where the bow is, um, where the knot is. Um, but um, if I staple it, um, you still get the effect of the ribbon, but it doesn't have the big knot. Um, so um, that's what, um, that's a really good tip. That's a really good way of um, using uh, ribbon without it being too bulky. Now the one at the top is not too bad because it's a very thin ribbon, so it, the knot is very small. But if you have a thicker ribbon, like the grow grain one that I've used at the bottom, staples are your way forwards, or my way forwards anyway. Um, okay, so I'm just putting some finishing touches on. I wanted to use um, some bright pink twine, um, and uh, I was determined to get that tied around with the bow at the top there, but it didn't look right. So actually, I ended up dropping it onto my layout, and it kind of fell in a nice loopy um, way. Um, and I thought, oh, I quite like that. So I've stuck it down. Um, I had to manipulate it a bit to make it follow the line of the layout. But um, I thought that was quite a fun thing to include, um, even though that was not originally um, how I intended it to go. <laughs> um, you can, I can see, you can see that I've also added some pink ink underneath the tag cluster at the bottom right corner as well. That just um, works well with the ink on the left. Um, just adding some um, foam stickers, foam title stickers here. I've got Love This, Speech Bubble um, coming out of the photo. I've added high at the bottom um, uh, left corner of the photo. Um, and um, I'm just adding some flowers underneath too. And just con continuing to add little bits and pieces really. This collection is really generic. It's great. It's just, you know, cameras and flowers and phones and you know color wheels and all sorts of things it's just generic it's not overly themed for any particular thing although it is really pink so <laughs> i guess you could uh, call it girly um but i would i would not have a problem scrapbooking my boys with this collection um either so i i, I love all the um the bright contrasts of colors um with the black and the hot pink um it just absolutely what a combination just love it so over where my tag is, I'm just um, adding some flowers around there. So I've got a couple of flower stickers. I went for the smaller versions rather than the um, floral ephemera because uh, I wanted some smaller bits around the tags. Um, I've added a water bottle sticker um, and uh, coming in now with some other stickers as well. So I've got another ticket strip there that I've just put in and there's a little Instagram camera next to, or um, in, uh, Instax or uh, um, what are they called? Polaroid camera um, just under the high. Um, so yeah, and all coming together nicely. Um, just adding the final touches now. I've added decorative brads. I've added enamel dots. I've added um, little tiny diamonds from the sticker sheet and then finished off with some splatters of black paint so there we go that is my layout all done um, I really hope that you enjoyed seeing how that came together I had a great time making it I love this collection and we'll be making many more layouts with it thank you so very much for joining me today that was Nikki Rowland for simple stories using the true colors collection